Yes. Well, if you have a goal you're looking to achieve in 2019, don't go anywhere. Yeah, we've got the founder of Mommy Millionaire in studio with some tips on how to succeed in the new year. She's got a lot to offer as far as good information. Don't go anywhere. Good morning, San Diego's coming right back. All right, the new year's almost upon us. If you're looking to expand your brand or grow as an influencer, we've got somebody here that can definitely help you. She is the founder of Mommy Millionaire, Kayla Kraft. She's got some tips for success in the new year. Kayla, thanks so much for joining us. Yay, thanks for having me. It's Mommy Millionaire, so you actually mm -hmm. became a millionaire. Yes. How did that happen? Okay, so I was an ER nurse when I was 23 years old, mm -hmm. and I, was, I had a one-year-old at home, and I just felt like I was underappreciated at work, and I knew I was a hard worker I knew I had more to give and so when I was 23 I was introduced to network marketing and it was a very low buy-in with a high reward and so I chose that as my route and I made my first million by the time I was 26. Wow just three years mm -hmm. yeah and then from there you went you had got some other endeavors right yeah that kind of gave me like the entrepreneur bug I guess you could mm -hmm. say and I just wanted to help more and more people mm -hmm. and so I just started to help other businesses other people that had a message to say to the world, um, give them kind of help with getting their voice out there. And you've used social media quite effectively as oh, well yeah. as a podcast. Talk to us about that. So I love social media because it really gives everybody a chance to let their light shine, like mm -hmm. I like to say. Yeah, sure. <laughs> and you can bring just like your positive influence into the world. There's so much negativity out there. And social media, you can get on there every single day and choose to complain or you can choose to like share positivity, right? And so mm -hmm. that's what I chose to do starting seven and a half years ago. And do doing that consistently, showing up every single day for people, it really helped me build a really impactful brand. And uh, other people started to follow along and do the same thing. And so it's our message just to, you know, kind of build your faith over time because it's kind of scary getting on there oh, and, I'm sure. and sharing your heart. And I share a lot about my story about, you know, because people look at me and they think, oh, you had had an easy life. So it was probably easy for you. But I grew up with a dad who was in jail, was raised by a single mom. Mm -hmm. And I had every excuse in the book to not follow my dreams, right? And I could have mm -hmm. chosen to be a victim and so I share my story constantly on social media that you have a choice every single day to choose your victimhood or you can choose victory over your life. Sure and you decided you wanted to really help people and you've actually used these social media platforms mm -hmm. to spread the word about this book that you wrote. Talk yes. to us about that. It's a great book. Oh my gosh I'm so excited about this. So The Habit of Leading Yourself. It's a one-year guide to becoming unstoppable mm -hmm. and it's a workbook because I've read so many books. That's kind of what started me into personal development when I was 18 years old and uh, I just thought you know I've read all these books it's so hard most people if I gave them a stack of 10 books they'd be overwhelmed right. for the new year right so let's put it into a week by week guide where people could go into 2019 and really have a fresh start and give one new habit a week to work on mm. so the first part we detox and, and what's interesting about this is going through it is it's interactive yes I mean you have you have uh, things that are kind of challenging you mm -hmm. as far as lists and things like that well I did that because most of us are a slave to a bad habits, right? So I want everybody to become a slave to good habits, and you do that by repetition over time. Mm -hmm. And so every week you have a new challenge. The first week is actually um, no social media, which is funny because I'm huge on that, mm -hmm. but I want people to kind of, you know, start uh, uh, formulating your own thoughts instead of bringing on everybody else's opinions about mm. yourself, you know? Sure. Yeah. What would you say to somebody who's in our viewing audience right now who's looking at this going, oh, I, I want to I want to do something like that. I want to get out of the job that I'm in right now. I want to be an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. What would you tell them as far as what they can expect should they decide to undertake an endeavor like that? Oh, well, I mean, entrepreneurship is literally the hardest thing you will ever do in your life. It's a roller coaster, and that's why most people don't do it is because it's the hard road. It's the road less traveled. Mm -hmm. There's no manual. Like, I can tell you all the things to expect and there's going to be a hundred more things that are going to be put on your plate. Um, so I think just know, dream big because obstacles are going to come along the way and just I always tell people persistence will win every time so just don't give up. Okay, Kayla Craft. The podcast is Mommy Millionaire. Mommy Millionaire, and you can find me on Instagram too. It's Kayla Craft on all social media channels. This is a girl to get connected with, everybody. Yay. <laughs> all right, thank, <laughs> thank great you. Great meeting you, Kayla. Thanks for coming in. Yeah. Appreciate it. Happy New Year to you. <laughs> Happy New Year.